from a sold-out Baum Walker Stadium. It is game number two of this best of three Super Regional in Fayetteville, the number one ranked team in the land, the Arkansas Razorbacks, taking on the Wolfpack of NC State for the NC State program. Sam Highfield, without question, the biggest start of his life, Todd Walker. Will he be up to the challenge? Yeah, that's the question, Mike. Uh, the Wolfpack starter, Sam Highfield, 6'3", 210 pounds. This is his second year, so first full year. See what Charlie Welch did. He earned another start. And we've already gotten the answer to a question I'm sure a number of Arkansas fans have. Will Christian Franklin be back in the lineup? One earned run. He pitched a season-high 118 pitches against Notre Dame earlier this season. Soft fly, shallow right, coming on and making the catch as Brown for the first out. Well, I think we got our answer from Sam Highfield. Greenbrier, Arkansas. Payoff. Chase the high cheddar and missed it. The exact start that the Wolfpack wanted out of Sam Highfield. And to this Super Regional, they'll be going up against a hot pitcher in Lyle Lockhart, the southpaw. Yeah, L-A-E-L, -L, pronounced Lyle Lockhart. 6'3", 220-pound, fifth-year grad transfer from Houston. He's a two-way player when he got into college, so he's going to be athletic on the mound. He had a perfect game with two outs in the seventh versus Georgia in the SEC tournament. A ground ball to the shortstop, weren't able to make the play. That was a base hit. But he This is, again, an NC, NC State lineup that can be lethal, and they have been for much of the season the best offense in the ACC. Torres had the home run yesterday. Gunna and Butler, a very strong opening three for NC State. This one sliced in the left. Wallace barely has to move a muscle to put that one away. Tapped weakly to the right side. Moore collects it on two hops. A one, two, three inning for Lockhart on seven pitches. Ball four. Now the first base runner of the game is Brady Slavens with nobody out. Eason against Nebraska, that came in a pinch hitting roll. Swings and drives one, high and deep. This ball is belted into the seats. It is your world, Charlie Welch. The rest of us are just living in it. All right, this is becoming silly, Mike. I mean, every time this guy gets up, he looks like Babe Ruth. He looks like he's going to hit it 400 feet. He's on every fastball that they throw him. And if you try to flip him a curveball like right now, this is what happens. He sits back, and that ball is stung to left field. Two-run lead for Arkansas. Look at this compact, nice swing, the stride, the back. That ball is lasered down the right field line and caught shy of the track by Brown. It's getting to the point where when Arkansas hits a ball in the air. Tatum out of Collierville, Tennessee. And coaxes a leadoff walk. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. 2-2 count on the Wolfpack backstop. Luca Tresh. Strike three called. Runner goes. Safe. Tatum. Beat it out. See what he comes with, 3-2. He challenged him, and he won the battle. Off speed at 85, and by the swinging bat of Devontae Brown. NC State, they can't mix and match. Again, they're limited in what they have, and their rotation features right-handed pitchers. Beautiful knee-buckling curveball there to retire the side in order. Great response by the freshman, Sam Highfield. She said, yeah, but that's almost 100% more than you were making the year before. Good luck. Economics. <laughs> to deep short. Battles. He's had a flair for making some sensational plays. 200 feet grows every time we tell that story. But he did hit a <laughs> lot of them a long way. <laughs> I think it's a kind estimate. Oh, this is going to be trouble. He's going to beat it out. J.T. Jarrett, the son of Notre Dame head coach Link Jarrett, with a bunt single, and the first two are aboard for the Wolfpack. As the day is done for Lyle Lockhart, 
Ran into some traffic here in the third. As the first two reached without getting a ball out of the infield. Now with the sacrifice, two in scoring position for Tyler McDonough, who will go up against Ryan Kostu out of the bullpen. Todd, I know you saw a lot of him in Hoover. Yeah, now the second most appearance is out of the pen behind Superman, Kevin Cops. This will be his 26th appearance. NC State team that made it to a super. Hit on the ground right side. This will score a run. Moore will throw to first, and it's a 2-1 game. There's that looping, breaking ball, and Butler freezes. Little tapper to the right side, charging is Jarrett. Jarrett makes a fine play. He is stoic, but he's fair, and, and he treats his players well, and they learn so much when they come to Arkansas under that man, Dave Van Horn. Well, you heard Anthony Avent say he's got a lot of confidence in his freshman, Sam Highfill. A good inning there. One, two, three. He is retired now. The last nine. Two, one. Bottom of the fourth, middle of the lineup, up for the pack. Tatum, Torres, and Tresh, triple T. And for the third consecutive inning, NC State has the leadoff man aboard. Golfed it. High and deep to left field. He's got some juice in those hands, and he's got a home run. The Wolfpack have the lead. Ryan Costu spin that curveball to Johnny Butler to end the last inning, struck him out looking, tries to come back to it again against Jose Torres, who had the home run on the first pitch in yesterday's game, gets it out over the plate, gets that launch angle swing going, pops it over left field, and puts some energy back into the Wolfpack dugout. In pro ball, when you're playing every single day, you'd like to know that you're going to be in a certain spot every day. In AAA, I was in the three-hole all day. This ball is belted deep left center field. This ball is gone. To back jacks by Torres and Tresh, and NC State is starting to fall in love with the long ball. Fifteenth bomb of the year for Tresh. We talked about it early in this game. They call it an average for a reason. If you're good enough, if you're a 300 hitting team, as is the Wolfpack, it's going to even out. They didn't have a good offensive day yesterday, so they come back today. It starts to average out. They're starting to pass the ball around. That you know he loses the lead and gets beat, and then you blow up cops for game two, and you still got to play a game three. Menchik puts a charge into one, high and deep to left field. It's out of here. Third home run of the inning for NC State. Ryan Koshu is leaving the ball up in the zone, and that, of course, split the plate after two home runs in the inning. You ever heard hitting's contagious? Boita Minshik gets up there with two home runs already behind and pops it into left field, a third home run in the inning for the Wolfpack, and they are feeling it right now. 1-1 one, one to Moore. Moore rolls one over to second. Jarrett, great glove man. Up the middle for the Wolfpack. One up, one down for Highfill, who has looked impressive. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Scary. Runner goes on the pitch, and he's in there safely. So another steal for the Wolfpack. That's the second. Be real tough to handicap that one. 2-2 Two -two from the left-hander. Popped him up. Short right. Coming on is Goodhart, and he flags it down. Hat flying off, ball in glove, side retired. Wolfpack still up by three. 0-2, swing and a miss, and there you see him fooling around with that arm slot. That. Swing a and a pitch. miss over the top. Did he change the slot on that one? As a team, 
OPS. That's off the charts. That's how many often you get on base, coupled with the damage you do when you put the ball in play. Little tapper into the shift. Torres again. And a great job by Highfield. He has retired 15 in a row. And Tresh has got a multi-hit game. The sophomore from Safety Harbor, Florida, stands at first with nobody out with a three-run lead because this is an Arkansas lineup that has a whole lot of juice in it and could certainly mount a comeback. Every insurance run from this point on would be a nine-hole hitter who's not your average nine-hole hitter, J.T. Jarrett, riding a 10-game hitting streak. Chops one up the middle. They're going to throw to first, so the run will score. A good insurance run. Give J.T. Jarrett an RBI. And it pitched well of late. One, two, charged. Deep left center field. This might be trouble. Backing, backing. McDonough leaps and can't come away. Another long ball for Pig Suey. And the Razorbacks strike again. Fourteenth home run for Brady Slavens, the first since that scary ankle injury in Hoover. Man, are they glad to have this guy back. That looks like the spot, Mike, left center field. We saw NC State pick apart that spot a couple times a few innings ago. And now Brady Slavens had the double last night. He's been struggling a little bit offensively. The double last night and now in his third at bat here in the seventh inning. A blast to left field to go to three and two. He's going to get the similar pitch on three and two. Just takes you out of the chance that you might swing something bad. Ball four low. Bullpen is getting hot for the Wolfpack. Justice loosening up at the plate. Let himself destruct if he's going to. The pitch counts up, and that'll be it. So we will see Evan Justice. And the strongest number on Justice. They've won the last 12 games he's appeared in. Gets underneath it, popped it up. A committee near second base, and it'll be the shortstop Torres taking control and putting the squeeze on it for a valuable second out. That ball is hit sharply, and it takes a kangaroo hop near the bag. Digging for third and being there easily will be Welch. And Arkansas will send the tying run to the plate. Runners at the corners, two down here in the seventh. 3-1 pitch, little tapper to the shortstop. Torres, back throw, run scores. Torres, who has been as automatic as they come this year, what a time for the first error of the game. Six home runs, but he's got a lot of power. Ground ball at the middle, and that'll get through. A run will score, and it's a one-run game. This is why having a stacked lineup matters. This is the nine-hole hitter, Jalen Battles, the SEC Tournament MVP. He's had a good last couple weeks, and he pops it back up the middle. He's He's going to get a strikeout, but don't leave it lower than that or it could get lost. Swing and a miss, strike three. Blew that one by him. And now Franklin 0 for his last 11, but some damage done. Even expected to be the closer this year. And then he basically reinvents himself with this gyro pitch, whatever you want to call it. There it is, disappearing at home plate. And then he goes to work. And again, he, w he went from a four-seam to a two seam. Oh yeah, he could feel his position well. Great stab on the comebacker and offers to Slavin. I can only imagine the tension, the anxiety going through these young men's mind. Swing and a miss, strike three. They've accounted for all the production today. 
strike three call. How about that effort from Evan Justice as he breezes through the Razorbacks in the eighth. About postseason baseball, this is what we love about the Supers. The left-hander, Justice on the mound. First pitch swinging is Welch. And this will be a can of corn for Brown, who makes the catch for the first out. Pat Smith looking to left field. Now at three and two, you try to get the barrel out, look to pull, separate that lead shoulder a little early. Power on power, 3-2 pitch, he got him. He pumped another one over the plate at 94, and NC State lives to see another day. We will have a third and decisive game tomorrow. The Wolfpack brought the lumber out today. Three home runs, eight hits, six runs total. And how about the effort of Sam Highfield and Evan Justice the combination kept that lethal Arkansas offense at bay. What a performance today by the Wolfpack.